Hello everybody, in today's video I have a, honestly a pretty strong build. It's kind of like an alternative to Bacris, works in similar function. So starting off with the Exotica Choice, we're using Foe Tracer. As most of you probably know, Foe Tracer got changed this season, and it made it so when you hit an ability, it will actually increase the damage of your weapon matching your subclass. It gives you a 6% buff in PvP. So I'm going to be pairing it with this SMG right here from the Crucible. Everybody knows how nasty this thing is. It's super, super good, especially with target lock. And with target lock, it makes it so you can get a 0.7 time to kill with it. But then if you add 6% more damage on it, it doesn't actually shift the time to kill, but it adds a little bit more forgiveness to the higher resilience and even the lower resilience, making it just so you can get that 0.7 a little bit quicker. And with stasis being as strong as it is, if you slow somebody, you have increased damage and just how fast SMGs kill, you pretty much just win the fight automatically, unless if you choke super, super hard or you're playing like super far out of your range. Honestly, I think it's very strong and I'm surprised I haven't seen more of this. So just going over the subclass real quick, Revenant, Super, Gambler Dodge, Strafe Jump, Withering Blades, Dust Field Grenades, because both of these make it very easy to hit abilities to get you a 6% damage buff. You hit either of them and you're, you're pretty good. Touch of Winter, Shatter Dive, and here are the Fragments. You also don't really need to use Shatter Dive. I didn't use it much in the gameplay just due to an, it being Anomaly, but you can use whatever one you want. I just like Shatter Dive. Here are the mods and the weapons. And if you do enjoy the video, please remember to like and subscribe as it does help out with the channel a lot. I post a new video almost every single day, 5 p.m. EST. Join the Discord. The link is in the description and have a good day. Pushes. It's not pushing. Okay. Now I got killing wind, so I can challenge this guy. Oh, he didn't push up. But I get damage reduction because of my crystal. Oh, this is all this is the AFK guy again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Those uh that GL loadout with the rain of fire double GL is hard to actually handle if you play against somebody who knows what they're doing with it. You have zone Just gotta keep playing with the team. Well, that hunter's not AFK anymore, so nice, good teams. Yeah, that guy's sniping in there. I'm gonna back up my, because my whole team is just chilling over here. Some people think I don't like hunters. I don't. I um, gotta be careful because heavy is up. Oh, I didn't get him. He has a machine gun. Oh, teammate got him. Nice. Nice. Good job, teammate. Made launcher guy. Back up. With this grenade launcher guy, it's pretty hard to play in cubbies just due to if you go in there you kind of just get blasted Zone a lost. Enemy has advantage. shotgun there's another one down here we can probably help the teammate we got killing wins so zone c captured you have zone mm. advantage they launch a guy. They got him. Go around Shuriken, maybe get a damage bonus. First dash. Okay, teammate got him, though. Still one in the. <gasps> no! Oh, I'm bad. Oh my goodness, he. He choked super hard, but I should be dead. Zone advantage is yours. 
Zone C lost. They have advantage. That's our Dawn Blade, nice. Five minutes remain. A strong start. Fight on. Nice. Guardian to the right of you. Guardian to the left of you. Guardian in front of you. Holly and Thunder. Together as one. I oh my goodness, all the things. So much stuff. That guy's gonna die. Slam. <laughs> Is the guy there's a guy below me? Oh, he's above me? No, no, he's right there. Keep the pressure on. Oh dang, that's super sucks that my thing didn't hit him. Just gonna sit in this corner for a second. But... Couldn't pull out my shotgun quick enough. I should have back, like jumped back, but I didn't. So say it. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold. I slowed him, so I should be able to keep running. Oh, well, that's just rude. They have like all their servers. Zone B lost. Enemy has advantage. Actually, gotta be careful because this thing lasts quite a while because of the exotic that he's using. Oh, good grenade. We got the trade though. Zone C lost. Power play. Get those zones back. Okay. He's gonna capture C. I'll push up to like try to hold them all. Oh, well, you know. So much for that plan. Oh no, we did get it. We're good. We're good. Got him a little weak. Maybe teammate can clean him up. Finish them. Didn't die. I wonder if he has worm husk. Hunters like you blaze a path for the rest of us. Oh, I'm blinded. Advantage is yours. Don't see lost. Enemy has advantage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I guess the enemy team is taking their supers to orbit. Okay, there we go. There's a goldie. Victory and there we go. Good job, team. Good. Yeah, so overall, this build, I think, it's it's, it's like an, kind of an alternative background. I feel like you can almost get it more frequently, and it just makes it so you hard win a 1v1. Hit somebody with a dust field, they're slowed, they take more flanks. You have a damage boost, you just... It honestly is really good.